Hey everybody, how's it going? It's the Daily Shooter, and if there was ever an optic for the Space Force, it would be this one right here. I was going to wait to do a full review on this before I showed you guys, but I figured, you know what, this is actually worthy of an unboxing because it is so different and so unique. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Burris TMPR5 Tactical Kit. This is one of the most interesting optic setups that I have ever seen, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Now, before we get started, I've gotten a lot of questions about that Boba Fett morale patch that I have on my helmet back there. Uh, it's a morale patch that I got off of Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll go ahead and I'll link that down below uh, because people keep asking me, where'd you get the patch? So uh, that's where I got the patch. The link is down in the description. Now, try and keep in mind, this is not a full review. It's an unboxing and a first impressions. I wanted to show this to you guys before I got started with it because there's so much that comes in this kit that it might be hard for me to put everything back together the way I got it uh, after I've done testing it. So I figured I'll show it to you guys while it's still in the packaging here. And it is, it is kind of a crazy setup the way that they have this thing going here. So this is the Burris TMPR5 tactical kit. Okay, it's, it's a complete kit and it's really interesting and unique the way that it works. So it comes in this hard plastic case as you can see here. It has two uh, locks on the side right there. It's also got another locking lever on the front. It is actually red O-ring sealed. You see these red rings on the side right here. So it's uh, got a red O-ring to keep it uh, nice and waterproof. And then when you open it up, you'll see the, uh, the contents. Now there's a lot of stuff going on with this kit. This optic right here has uh, a fixed powered prism optic, it has a laser, and it also has a red dot all built in with separate power sources and one single power source. It has a sunshade and even a red dot cover. Now that might not all seem kind of, you know, different considering the fact that, you know, you can kind of add things to other optics set up there on the market, but the way this thing works is is absolutely crazy. So uh, you get this whole toolkit right here. So it's a toolkit. There's a bunch of different stuff in there, a bunch of different batteries because again, each of the units that's on this is actually independently powered and it can be powered by one single source. So there's like multiple different power sources that you can use for each of the devices that's attached to this optic. So here is the main optic right here. We'll take a closer look at that here in just a second. And then obviously, like I said before, our sunshade and even a protective sunshade slash housing for the red dot that's on top of this thing. Now in full transparency, I wanna let you guys know I did get this sent to the channel by Optics Planet. Uh, we have a good partnership and we've been uh, working together for a long time. And uh, they wrote me an email and said, hey, you gotta check out this uh, optic. It's totally different and something new. And uh, so obviously I said yes, they sent it out. And if you guys want discount codes, links and stuff like that, just check out my website and uh, you'll be able to find pretty much everything you want over there, including some things that are hard to find right now. I'll find them and I'll put them on my website for you. So check that out. Okay, so here's a closer look at my choice for the first Space Force optic, the Burris TMPR5. This is actually a really unique optic. I've never seen anything like it, and I've been reviewing optics for the past seven years now. And uh, this one, it uh, definitely threw me for a loop. So basically what we have here in the main body, so the main optic itself is gonna be a fixed five power prism optic. Prism optics have become more and more popular lately. People are seeing the benefits of prism optics. They're extremely tough. I think this one's rated to take like 800 Gs of force. So uh, it, can, it can withstand high recoil and things like that. It's a very tough optic. The body of it seems pretty tough. The glass is ridiculously clear. You'll notice that about prism optics as well. They usually have really nice clear glass. So they're tough, they look great. They're perfect for people that have an astigmatism and still wanna see an illuminated reticle because you have an etched reticle in there as well. But that's not what sets this thing aside. So what sets this aside is its modularity. This is a completely modular optic and it allows you to kind of set it up the way that you want it. Okay, so you can see right here on the side, there's this cap. It looks very similar to like an RMR cap. Well, that's not an RMR cap. That's a cap for you to fit different devices that they have available for this scope. So you see here on the top, we actually have a Burris Fast Fire 3. 
So since this is a 5x prism optic and you have, you know, 5x is a decent amount of magnification, if you want to engage something that's a little bit closer up, you're going to need less magnification, right? Well, simply lift your eye up and you'll be able to see through this 1x, basically no magnification, uh, Burris Fast Fire 3 red dot. It's a very nice red dot, has a very nice reticle, and it makes things pretty quick. So again, just lift your head up and you're going to be seeing through that uh, simple 1x. Nice thing about this is you can take it off the top if you want to. You can move it to this side, you can move it to the other side, simply remove this cap, move your Fast Fire over and have it on either side or the top. So Again, it is completely modular. Now, if you need something just a little bit quicker, on the other side, if we flip this thing around here, you're gonna see on this side, we have a laser, and it's a pretty powerful laser that they put on this thing as well. Uh, and the fact that it's a prism optic with a red dot on top, and the laser kind of is what made me think about the whole Space Force thing. Again, it's a pretty powerful green laser that they have on here. Now, that is also switchable, so you can take this, you can take it and move it to the top, you can move it to the other side, move it wherever you want. Uh, it is uh, run by its own independent battery, just as the uh, Fast Fire is on top, and the 5X Prism Scope itself. But what's different about this is, if you were to take off this little cap right here, there's gonna be some metal connectors underneath this cap. And those are for a secondary power source. So each one of the devices that you add on here can be run by its own individual power source. But if that battery dies, it can actually piggyback the power source, the main power source for the optic itself. So this 5X right here. So we have a battery located in this compartment right here. And if you were, let's say, to lose battery on your laser, right? This battery that's internal battery dies. It will immediately transition over to the main battery that is for the main optic itself. So each one of these has dual power sources run by two different battery options. It's, it's really neat. Uh, it does have tethered caps on it. Uh, a total of 120 MOA in travel, which I thought was... Uh, pretty cool as well. That's a lot of, of travel. So you're looking at like 60 MOA up and 60 MOA down of total travel. Plus we have these controls on the back right here, which allow you to kind of adjust things, change colors. Uh, this thing has several different colors in it, blue, green, red. And then obviously you have the standard black etched reticle. Let's see if I can get that on camera a little bit better here. But that's all done and adjusted through these buttons that are gonna be located on top. The nice thing about them being on top is it makes it ambidextrous. So it doesn't matter if you're a righty or a lefty, uh, you can just simply reach to the top, adjust your power, adjust your reticle colors, things like that can all be managed from there. And then we still have the independent buttons that are located on each device. So there's a side button here on your uh, Fast Fire 3, and there's also another button for your laser and so forth. Uh, the other thing about it is it comes with this really nice quick disconnect mount. Uh, this is a, a really nice looking mount. It's very strong. It's very robust. You can see the the clips at the bottom here and the way that this is going to squeeze onto your rail. And one thing that I like, uh, you guys know if you watch my videos, I like when they have squared off notches right here, that index with the Picatinny rail. I feel like it's a better setup for re-zeroing versus something that's just like a rounded screw that goes through the, the bottom right there. So it's squared off, which means once you put this on your rail, you slide it forward. Uh, once you slide it forward, it's going to index in the same spot because it's squared off. So you know you're always going to have that nice re-zero. And uh, these things lock down pretty nice as well. So you have a pretty strong, pretty robust mounting system on this thing. You have the flip-up caps and everything else. Plus, again, like I said, you have all of the accessories. So it comes with, you know, the tools that you're going to need. It comes with extra covers. So if you want to take the Fast Fire 3 off, maybe you decide you want to use it on something else later. It comes with an extra cap. So you can always cap off those connections that are going to be under this Fast Fire 3 and use it that way. It comes with all your different batteries comes with you know cleaning cloths and all the stuff that you're going to need there as well so it's, it's just crazy how much has gone into this optic right here it's like this you know complete futuristic setup but uh, at the core of what this thing is it's actually a really nice optic uh, it's it seems to be beautiful glass in here the reticle seems really nice i see edge to edge clarity uh, good glass is kind of indicative of a prism scope prism scopes usually have some of the nicest glass that you'll see so uh, if you were to take away you know all joking aside this actually seems like a really nice very robust very strong a uh, little optic set up here that basically gets you just about everything you want located in one package. 
Now, like I said before, this thing does come with some accessories. So if we take off that front cap right there, it comes with a sunshade. So if you maybe are planning on doing a spacewalk or you planning on uh, maybe leaving the station or something like that, or you're just out there and the sun's at a different angle, uh, it is going to keep the sun from causing any type of glare or flare on the uh, on that front lens, which could cause a problem. So uh, this uh, this is actually a pretty nice thing. I wish there were more optics like this that came with a sunshade. There's two different benefits that we have here. So obviously we have the benefit of uh, kind of getting that sun, direct sunlight from hitting the front of the optic itself. But the other benefit of having a sunshade is the fact that now the lens is set further back. I don't have it screwed all the way on, but now the lens is set further back which means there's less likelihood of, of damaging that front lens. Uh, and you can always put this, uh, you know, cap back on there too to keep, you know, some of the dust and debris out. Uh, another thing that it comes with is actually a cover. Uh, and I've seen these before with my Burris Fast Fires that I've gotten in the past. You also get this cover right here. It's got uh, a lens in the front, as you can see right there, lens, well, drop that, lens in the back. And all you do is you simply take this and you place it over your optic. And again, I'm not gonna do it completely because they're kind of a pain to get off, but you can put this over your optic like that and have a sunshade and an extra layer of protection for your 1X optic on top. And uh, for me, whenever I put these things on, I always need like a screwdriver or something to uh, take them off. But uh, they're fairly easy to install. You just take it, you know, pop it over the top of your red dot and you're good to go. And that gives you a little bit of extra protection on top. So extra protection for the optic itself, extra protection for the, uh, the 1X, and then obviously you can put your cap back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my review now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this thing up. We're gonna take it out, do a bunch of different tests with it and uh, see how well it holds up. I'm sure it's gonna do just fine, but we'll test out the laser, we'll test out the red dot and the, uh, the prism scope and, you know, kind of get an actual idea for what I think about it. As far as weight goes, uh, it's not too bad. As a matter of fact, uh, you know, as far as prism scopes go, they're always going to be a little bit heavier, but it's not too bad in terms of weight. So I think uh, it should, should be just fine. You know, there's going to be people out there that say that this is tactical and that's fine too. I mean, if you want to buy something that's tactical just because you like, you know, the cool factor of something, or if you, you know, legitimately see a purpose for all the different things that you have here, I think that each one of these serves a different purpose. Obviously having a laser uh, is going to allow you to get on something really, really fast in a short distance. So if somebody's, you know, five, six, 10 feet away from you and you just need to pop up real quick, a laser is going to get you there really fast. The 1X is going to be able to get you there fast. You're going to be able to reach out to those mid ranges. And then when you want to reach even further, you're going to be able to use the 5X and extend that range out quite a bit. So I think that it actually serves uh, a legitimate purpose. And, uh, you know, beyond the tacticalness of it, you know, I think that uh, this actually could be something that's pretty useful. So uh, I always give everything a fair shake. That's one thing I try and do on this channel. Everything gets a fair shake. And if it doesn't work out in the end, it doesn't work out in the end, but it always starts off with a clean slate. And that's what I'm going to do with this as well. So uh, anyway, if you want to check these out, remember, uh, check out my website. I put links, discount codes and stuff like that over there. So uh, thank you all very much for watching. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day.